Hi everybody, it's Richard McMunn and in this video I'm going to teach you how to tackle spatial reasoning test questions. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of examples for you and then I'm going to get you to try a few sample questions yourself. So it's like an interactive video, it's a bit of fun and my aim is to, to get you proficient at the use of spatial reasoning tests. At some stage during the video I'll also tell you where you can get some free tests like this so you can practice them on your phone, you can practice them on your laptop as well. So let's have a look, get straight into it with a sample spatial reasoning test question. So this is relatively simple, um, however when you're under timed conditions, which inevitably this kind of test will be, then the pressure is on, you have to remain calm and work logically through each of the stages. So the question here is join all of the shapes together with the corresponding letters to make which shape. So you can see here at the bottom right, we've got A, B, C, and D. Now I can see the answer straight away, okay, immediately without even having to go through the process, which I'm gonna do with you, and, and you guys will become like this. You Once you practice these more, and you have a go at the free test questions I'm gonna give you, you will become really proficient at them. Um, so if I just work through straight away the, the process that I go through, I take a look at like the letter A at the top and I look at the corresponding letter. So I know that that shape there, that rectangle, is going to be on top of there. Okay, so straight away I can see that that's at the top. And if I join B together as well, I'll end up with this shape here. Now the reason why I could work out the correct answer straight away is that there is only one option here, which is B, which has that shape. So it has to be that answer. It's got to be because there's not an option for E where it says none of these, so it has to be B. However, if we carry on going through the process and we join C together, then that is the shape that we would end up with. So the correct answer would be B. And like I say, you'll become really quick at these. Um, what I'd like you to do now um, is to have a go at some questions yourself. So I'm going to put you under a little bit of pressure. It's a bit of fun. If you find, so there's five questions and you've got 15 seconds to answer each one, which is not long. But if you find you're struggling with the time, don't worry about it, just pause the video or watch it again until you get the correct answer. Please, I'd really appreciate it if you put your answer to each question in the comment section below um, and I'll come on here each day personally and I'll mark them um, for you. Um, okay, so there is a timer there, you can see it with the gold circle, that will correspond with 15 seconds each one. So it's five questions, so join all of the shapes together in this first one to come up with which shape. So you can see the timer working down. And try and do it in your head with those corresponding shapes, putting A together, B together, and then C together to come up with which shape. So you see that you've not got long to do it. So you put your answer to question number one in the comments section below. Like I say, if it's not enough time, just pause the video. Question number two. Okay, another one. Join all of the shapes together with the corresponding letters to come up with which shape, A, B, C, or D. Okay, so you're halfway through now. And put your answer to question two in the comment section below. We're going to look at a different type of um, spatial reasoning question in a second, but still three more to do for you. So this one's a little, little bit more trickier, a bit more fun. Again, you've got 15 seconds. Join all of the shapes together with the corresponding letters to make which shape. And some of you will have been able to work this out straight away with the A, with the arrows have to be together and there is only really one option straight away. Okay, question number four, again, 15 seconds, join all of the shapes together with the corresponding letters to make which one? So join A together, B together, and again, really, if you're quick, you'll find out that there's only really one logical answer and you only have to do a little bit of work with this one to work out which is the correct one. Question number five, join all the shapes together again to come up with which one. This is the final one. So don't forget to put your answer in the comment section below, please. That would be great. So well done. So hopefully you didn't find those too difficult. So like I say, you can revisit this if you need to. So let's take a look at a different type of spatial reasoning test question. Um, a different form, because they come in many different formats. So if you look at this one, what figure completes the sequence pattern? Looks quite tricky from the offset because if you look at it on first glance and if you were under pressure and you've got, say, 15 seconds to answer this, you'd be like, wow, that's crazy, I've got no idea. So we're looking for which one goes in this sequence here. So we have to start here on the left, 
have a look at what's actually happening. And again, you'll become really used to this. Now we can see that there are four, four triangles on the top shelf, if you like, and there are three triangles on the bottom. And what's actually happening is that these two on the top are moving across just one position each time, okay? And the same is happening on the bottom. They're moving across just one position each time. So the correct answer can only be C, because if you look here, when these two are moving across, and there they've gone even further, we're looking for one which is actually in that position, and that's the only one that's in that position, okay, from the bottom line. And you can see the bottom ones as well, that one, because that would have to come round to here on the left, you would have the two triangles on the bottom and the gap would be the same there. So the correct answer to that is C. And like I say, you will become really proficient and fast at these. So I would like you to have a go at these type. There are three questions that follow. And again, you've got 15 seconds to answer. Please, again, put your answer to each one in the comments section below the video. What figure completes the sequence pattern? Okay, this is tough. Off you go. See if you can get question one right. And these are slightly harder. So you're looking for a sequence pattern. Like I say, if you struggled with it, pause the video and watch it until you come up with it. Question number two, what figure fits in with the sequence pattern? So you're looking for which figure from A, B, C, D or E fits there where the question mark is. So you've got 15 seconds only. And if you look, here's a clue. If you look at the along the top line, there's a black shape in the center. And there's only three of them with a black shape in the center across the bottom. So you can eliminate two straight away. Okay, question number three. Again, which figure comes next in the series? So we're looking for the one that comes here on the end from A, B, C, D or E. And if you struggle with any of these, please just sort of put your hand up comment in the section below the video to say. Okay, don't forget to put all of your answers to those um, spatial reasoning test questions in the comment section below. If you would like some more free tests, do click the link below the video. So in the description, I've put a link to a website where you can get free practice. So within the next couple of seconds, you can be learning loads of these, loads of psychometric tests all for free. Um, please, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up because that motivates me to do more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button because then you'll get notified by email as soon as I upload a video. So you'll be the first to know. And thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope you have a great week ahead. Um, I've been Richard McMahon from the Career Guidance Company, How to Become. And um, thank you very much for watching.